Hey guys, Chris here. Welcome back to the channel. Last week, I uploaded a video that showed the installation of rear hydraulic remotes on my Kubota LX2610. And in that video, I mentioned there was more than one type of valve, and I said that I would talk about it, but the video ran long, and so I didn't. So I thought today I would make a very short video just to talk about the differences in the valves that you can install for your rear hydraulic remotes. Basically, on the LX Tractor, you have three options if you're going to install those rear remotes. You can choose to install just a single valve, or you can install up to two. And if you choose to install that second valve, then you have two options. The first valve is always going to be what is called a self-centering bi-directional valve. Uh, and for this video, we'll just call that the standard valve. That's going to be like the curl and dump function on your front end loader. Basically, if I pull the loader stick in, my bucket is going to curl. If I let go of the stick, it centers, the flow stops, and the bucket movement stops. Likewise, if I push the loader stick out, the bucket's going to dump. Same thing, I let go, the, center, the stick centers, and the motion stops. If you install a second rear hydraulic valve, you can opt to either install another standard valve, just like the first, or you can install a float detent valve. The float detent is very much like the loader arm valve on your front end loader. So on my loader, if I pull back on the stick, again, the loader arms are gonna raise. If I let go, it centers and stops. And if I push it forward, it lowers. I let go, it centers and stops. But most of you probably also have a float valve on your loader. So if you push the loader stick completely forward, there's a detent position. It will pop and lock into place. And when you do that, the loader arms will float. Literally, it will just drag along the ground, just carrying the weight of the front end loader, not putting any pressure uh, down on your bucket. The float detent on the rear hydraulics works exactly the same. Uh, it is a self-centering bi-directional valve, so if I push the lever one way, uh, the cylinder is going to open. If I pull it back, then the cylinder is going to close. But there is also a detent on that valve, which will let that uh, hydraulic cylinder float. Why would you want to do that? Well, maybe if you're running a bush hog, you want it to just kind of float along the ground. In my case, uh, I use a box blade a lot. And if you're familiar with a box blade, it has a front cutting edge and a rear cutting edge. So I can be aggressive. If I shorten the top length, that front cutting edge is going to bite into the ground. Of course, I've got scar fires or the ripper shanks on the box blade as well. I can use that. But if I want to do finish grading uh, with the float valve uh, on the back, on the top link, if I lift my three-point hitch up and then I let that uh, top link float, that will drop the rear, the rear blade on the box blade down onto the ground, and then I can use that to finish grade, much like if you were going to back drag with your front end loader and float. So that's it, I guess. Two different types of valves, the bi-directional self-centering valve and then the float detent valve. Anyway, I hope you found that uh, helpful. Just a short video to follow up on the first one. As always, I appreciate you being here and I hope we see you next time.